It is literally about 7.30 in the morning here in the man cave. And before I grab a knife, before I grab a flashlight, a pouch, put on a watch, anything like that, one of the first things I do is put one of the most obnoxious, weird, but comfortable items in my EDC on my grape. And then I get my day started. And by the end of this review, you might be doing the same thing. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Marine X back at it again. Yes, these are the Ray-Ban Metas, the Wayfarer. They come in two different versions. I picked up the Wayfarer. I just felt like they looked a little bit more masculine if you want to get the other version. Then that's totally up to you, but... I never thought I would find myself in the world of wanting to get a pair of smart glasses. And then here I am diving balls deep into exploring the world of meta. Now, here's my bottom line up front. If you want a pair of glasses that can do about 1080p video, capture some photos, live stream directly to Instagram or Facebook, be able to capture some small moments, be used as sunglasses and be speakers as well. And you got about $300 burning a hole in your pocket. These are worth it. These are worth it. Links are in the description. If that's all you needed to hear, then um, have a good day. But if you want to know what the hell I did and did not like about the Ray-Ban Metas, then stick around because there is more than just a recommendation. So, these have been out a little bit over these were, these were actually announced at the end of september they started shipping in october i've had mine for a little bit more than 60 days so I've, I've, i'm very well acquainted with the glasses i'm very used to them how they work how they kind of flow and and i really do have a good opinion about them you've seen them in some recent videos i haven't worn them as much in videos but they are so comfortable a lot of times i even forget that they're on my Face. The Ray-Ban Metas, this is Ray-Ban's second venture into a pair of smart glasses. The first ones were laughable to me. There was things missing from them that would never make it so that I would be able to use them. People said that the mics were trash and they weren't great for Bluetooth calls. People complained that they had no IP rating so you couldn't wear them in the rain, which I have no issues with going to stores or walking in the rain, riding my bike in the rain. So yes, I need my stuff to be able to get rained on. So that was an issue as well. And then the sound quality, actually the music, people complained was an issue as well. I listen to mostly talk radio, so I need voices to boom. I need it to sound really good whenever you slap that thing on and listen to it. So I passed on the first versions. Then these were announced. Of course, they did their celebrity campaigns. They got them in the hands of creators. And then they grabbed me by my goddamn scrotum. And then here I am checking out and buying these on my own. Ray-Ban did not send these out to me. I used my own money and purchased these bad boys. I'm gonna go over some specs. I'm not gonna get like nitty gritty into all the specs because there are like other channels that do stuff like that. If you wanna know like every single small detail, you can go check those out. I'm just gonna talk about the things I liked about it, overall things that you might wanna think about with these glasses. So first off, they do take 1080p video. And that's something that I didn't think I would be 100% interested in. Now I use that feature almost every single day, whether I'm making Instagram reels, YouTube shorts, content. Obviously I'm a content creator, so like that type of stuff made sense for me. You may not wanna use it for you, but you may care about that type of stuff. It's also able to live stream directly to Facebook or Instagram. Caveat, you do have to let Meta into your life to get these glasses. They're, it's just completely pointless to buy these if you don't have an Instagram or Facebook account. I don't have a Facebook account, but I have an Instagram, so I did pick them up. If you are worried about folks tracking you and stuff like that, then click away from this video because Meta owns the data for this and they want your data i'm not worried about that type of stuff people are going to get our information however the hell they want google has it microsoft has it everybody has it so meta feel free so that being said yeah you do have to have an account to use it but 
1080p video, it only does portrait only video. I guess if you want to take them off and turn them sideways, then you can do a video that way horizontally. But it's a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. So wide. It's even wider than what you're seeing right here. This is about 20 millimeters and it's wider than this. So imagine this is 16 millimeters. It's a pretty wide lens that you're working with. So if you want to take a, a vertical video and just crop into it, you can. You know, it's going to work just fine for that type of stuff. It takes photos as well. And listen, there is privacy indicators for folks that are around you. There's a little white light right here. You turn that on, it lets you know that I'm now recording a video. And it, rec it can record a 1080p video, 30 frames a second, up to 60 seconds. 32 gigs of memory built into these glasses. It's still recording. You turn this off, let you know you're no, no longer recording. There's also a light that turns on on the inside of the glasses, let you know re you're recording. You can also take a photo by pushing the button just quickly. It takes a quick photo, does a little light, let you know you just took a photo. There is a slight delay in that, though. So if you're trying to cut, cut, catch like a candid moment, like a skateboarder, these aren't for you. But if you're trying to catch, you know, got some people gathered up, you got them all saying cheese, you can use this for stuff like that as well. Why did I pick these up? I'm a content creator. I'm trying to think like if I was not a content creator, if I didn't actually produce stuff for the internet, would I still want to pick up these glasses? I think my answer would be yes. I can't tell you how many times I have snapped videos of my kids doing things that I thought was absolutely ridiculous. There may be times when my phone is nowhere near me. I'm using my phone. I'm listening to talk radio, but it's not actually in my hands. It's not in my lap. It's not on the couch next to me. And my eight month old is doing something crazy that I've never seen her do before. Well, what do I do? I have the option to just push this button here and to capture that moment in real time snapping photos in real time has been fantastic been able to, to create content for you guys on instagram on youtube shorts being able to show you the knife or the bag or whatever i'm using hands-free has been great overall if you buy these i recommend that you get them in the clear lenses that transition to sunglasses you can buy them clear you can buy them amber and green and just sunglasses all the time if you buy them in sunglasses all the time, I believe you're going to regret it because they're literally only sunglasses. That means they're only going to work best outside. A lot of us work from home. A lot of us go to stores. I like the fact that I can wear these as soon as I wake up, throw on my cheesy ass talk radio, still have my ears free so that I can hear my family, hear my loved ones and still be able to interact with folks and stuff like that. So if you want to be able to like use these instead of just quickly in the morning time and use them throughout the day then yeah, get the transitions. You absolutely are not going to regret it. Here's some other advice that I've seen personally. When I initially got these, I got them in matte black. Matte black is like a fingerprint magnet. I now have them in this like shiny, fancy black color, which is just really them showing the electronics of the glasses through the frame itself, which... At first, I thought I wasn't going to like, but I think it's pretty unique. When you buy these, you literally get the glasses, a polishing cloth, and a charging case. You don't get a cable, a brick. $300 kind of sucks that you don't even get like a USB-C to USB-C cable. That would be nice. Granted, this is a USB-C charging device, meaning that you probably already got one of those cables lying around anyhow. So it's probably not that big of a deal. I average six, usually five to six hours on these things listening to talk radio talk radio like series xm listening to youtube video so i'll turn on a youtube video put the screen asleep put the phone in my pocket so i listen to youtube and music easily can get five to six hours out of this i keep the volume about 50 percent. it works just well for that type of stuff another thing that i really like about these is that they kind of just disappear because they look like regular glasses they look like if, if i don't wear a prescription but they look like i could just be wearing my prescription glasses and i like the fact that you don't look like a weirdo wearing sunglasses inside of a target just because you want to continue to listen to your music there will be bleed okay so there is sound bleed with these things if you are wearing these and you have the volume turned all the way up people around you if it's quiet enough they will be able to hear so if you're in an office environment be conscious 
about how loud you keep these. So let's do some testing. Let me show you some tests with these and some different scenarios that you might use them in to see if they might work for you. And just to kind of show you how this thing does, it's pretty dark in the man cave. And I'm just using a flashlight to illuminate what I want to see. This is with the 12 megapixel camera of the Ray-Ban Metis. So it's a super wide angle. You also kind of have to like adjust your face. The camera being on the left side of my face and I have dreads, I have to remember to kind of keep my head still and turn my head slightly to the right. All right, we're good to go. These are the Ray-Ban Metas recording in overclass sky, uh, skies, just to kind of show you what it looks like when it's recording. 12 megapixel camera, does a decent job as long as the lighting is decent, it would do an okay job. Let's do our first test, the speed test. What I mean by speed test is how fast can we go with these on our face and it can still uh, it still keeps a connection with the phone. So these things have Bluetooth 5.3, which is a pretty good Bluetooth. So that should allow for the ability to go pretty fast and not drop connection with our phone. I've had other Bluetooth devices that have like uh, Bluetooth 5.0, 5.1. Sometimes when the wind kicks up and that, that type of stuff, it just breaks up and loses it. So let's see what we get. About 20 miles an hour, 22 miles an hour. I'm on a phone call right now and I'm still successfully, my wife can hear me, which is a good thing. We're good, yeah. 28 miles an hour, a little bit of drizzle. Of course, I'm not worried about that with these the IP rating on these bad boys. I can still hear her talking. 23 miles an hour. Zero miles an hour recording here just to see how good we go. So I'm listening to music. I had that pause, but I'm going. I'm pretty much moving it along pretty good. So. rocking we're rocking 20 miles an hour probably can't hear me anymore on the ray on the ray band let's see 23 miles an hour according to my phone some good stuff there all right so let's keep going here all right so now we're going to do the distance test how far away can i walk away from the phone while connected and see how far away I can go. I'm on the phone with Mrs. X. We're gonna see how far away we can get. Now this is just gonna be me guessing. I'm walking, I don't have a measuring device, but just give it my best here. So, all right, keep it going backwards. We're going, every step I take, I'm gonna just call it a foot. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, what? 12, I talk too much, no I don't. 14, 15. You like when I talk, it's good talking. 40 feet, you still hear me? Good, good. I wonder, can you hear me if I turn around? I got my back turned, can you still hear me? All right, I'm gonna turn back around so I can keep my actual little wireless device connected to my camera. Still got me. All right, I'm almost about 100 feet away. It is a little chilly out here, but let's call it about 150 feet. You still hear me? Okay. It's not bad. Now, obviously there's nothing blocking us. If I, I used this earlier. I had to give uh, Ryan some Benadryl. because her eyes was bumping up. I don't know what she ate, but I was recording and it recorded through the walls. So pretty good stuff. All right, I'm about 200 feet away. Can you still hear me? Okay, good. This is pretty good. I mean, I don't know why you would be 200, 250 feet away from your device, but this was not bad. You can still hear me, right? Okay, good, good. Well, that's not bad, not bad. So about 250 feet away from 
The phone itself, Mrs. X was able to hear me the whole time. There was nothing blocking those paths. So that's not bad. I don't know why you would test it out like this, but that's good to know if you need to put this down, if you're, you know, if you're in some type of sports or some type of activity or something like that, and you just want to know if it's going to work, then that might be something that's beneficial for you. So you saw the tests, you saw the different ways that you can use them. We got to talk cons. The prescription available on these, not very strong. They don't use Zeiss lenses. I don't know what lenses they use. I have 20-20 vision. Danny Lene, Mrs. X, has a prescription, and she's nervous that they won't be able to fill her prescription if I were her to buy her some. I did some research. They can't fill her prescription. They don't have, they just don't do strong enough levels. So if you're a point dexter, you cannot see like Mrs. X, then these, they may not work for you. You gotta have that charging case. The charging case has no way to find it. Right now, I know for a fact the charging case is in my kitchen. I left it on my spectator height counter. I'm just trying to keep it in one central location. But if you lose that bad boy, it's $70 to get a new one. Don't ask me how I know. It needs some type of tracking feature. It would be nice. I, I, I'm going to put an air tag in mine, so I'll be able to find it next go round. But if they had an air tag slot or something in it so that you can find the case, because you cannot charge these any other way than little prongs that are inside of the underneath the, where your bridge of your nose goes. That's how you charge these. So if you lose the charging case, you're asked out. Doesn't come with a brick or a cable. $300. I spent more than that because I got the, the transitions and I got the shiny feature. I think I spent near $400. No charging cable or brick. I mean, I, granted, I got tons of them laying around, but what if you're a minimalist and you don't have that stuff? That kind of sucks. Now you're invested even more. You got to give Facebook and Meta your information. That may not be something that you want to do. And if you want to enjoy these, just to be able to take photos, you got to have an Instagram or Facebook account. Take videos, the same thing. The smart features they promise, they're not here yet. So these glasses in the future will be able to have an AI feature where I can say, hey, Meta, and basically ask it what I'm looking at and it can identify the thing that I'm looking at. It's not here yet. If I do that, it literally tells me that that feature is not available yet. So you're buying these glasses based on promises that they can do in the future. And I never recommend that. Buy the glasses for what they can do now. If you're buying these because you want to be, you want to be able to use these to say, oh, I'm looking at an espresso machine. I'm looking at a microphone. They don't do that yet. They say they're going to be able to do it. They can't do it yet. That's something that you need to think about. These things absolutely are like, I have an oily face. They grab all of that, slap it right on the inside of the lenses. I'm always wiping these down. If you don't have an oily face, you probably don't have to worry about this. But yeah, you're going to have to worry about wiping these things down pretty often if you're thinking about that overall. As I mentioned earlier, there is a slight delay when you're taking a photo. I'm, I'm even more prone to take a video than a photo because it videos start faster. So I can just push the button and start a video, load it and just take a screenshot of, the, of that moment. And I'm less likely to miss the moment than trying to snap photos with this thing because it is a little bit delayed. The photos in low light are complete trash. So videos and photos in low light. This is a very small sensor. The lens is right on this side. And it's absolutely not the best in low light. Another thing is for privacy purposes, right? They do have this light. So now I'm recording a video, but I can now cover this and I'm still recording a video. So if I want to just pretend like I'm scratching my head and I want to be a creeper, I'm recording a video. So that's something that they might want to think about because the way they have it set up now is if I'm covering it before the video, it won't let me start it. So it just, it just gave me a, a, it just gave me an error because it noticed that the LED was blocked. But if you start the video first and then cover it, no one would know that you're recording. Now, most people don't have a sense of privacy in a target in a public setting. Most states, I'm not going to talk about your state, but most states, there's no sense of privacy in public. But if you are Netflix and chilling with somebody and she's walking around in some boom, boom shorts or something like that, and you're just a creeper like that, she won't know that you're being a creeper. I think that they should give a firmware update to fix that. But not the cons aren't enough for me to return it. The, the fingerprints on the mat, that was enough for me to return it. And I got these. But the rest of the cons just were not enough. The app is intuitive. It works really, really well. 
It has tons of storage, 32 gigabytes of storage. That's like tons of photos and videos. You can live stream directly to Instagram or to Facebook for up to, I think, about 60 minutes before it stops you. Six hours of battery life. You can go longer than that if you keep the volume super duper low. Now I don't always have to put earbuds in my ears. Even though I love my Google Pixel Buds, I don't always have to stick those down in my ears. My wife complains about them because she sees them and she thinks I'm not listening to her, even though I have them in transparency mode. They work great when I'm going 25 miles an hour on an e-bike. I can still hear what I'm listening to. The rain, it is not affected by rain. I wore these things in rain. They have no issues at all. The range on them is pretty decent. So if you're far away from your phone, imagine that you're in the outfield. You know, I know somebody that plays softball, adult, adult softball league. He wears these because he's in the right field and he sucks, but he doesn't want to have his phone in his pocket because he might have to die for a ground ball. Now, you can still jack these up, but whatever. $1,000 phone, $300 glasses. He can be out in right field listening to music or whatever sunglasses and good to go and his phone's in the dugout so pretty decent range and one thing is that they keep me from doom scrolling on my phone if i'm listening with earbuds or if i'm listening directly with the speaker on my phone which i tend to do a lot i doom scroll i'll get on tiktok instagram twitter and i'll just scroll to no end but if i'm listening to my talk radio with these and the phone is nowhere near me it's less likely than I'm just literally wasting away my life. I can continue to get work done and I like them a lot. There are competitors out there that are doing the same similar thing. But when I come to something that looks like regular sunglasses, like these look like regular Wayfair style sunglasses. I have several pairs of Wave of, of Ray-Ban rather. And these don't look like the oddball, the case, the glasses themselves. I don't think I can glaze these any harder than I'm doing right now. Comment down below. Would you get the Ray-Ban Metas? Is it something that you've been interested in? Is it something that you want to get? This is definitely an everyday carry item. It doesn't matter if I'm at home. So I'm, you know, I'm not going to be giving these up. This keeps me from my itch of wanting to buy the Apple Vision Pros, which are $3,500 and you can't wear them outside and they're just a big computing. And I just wanted something on my grate, okay? And I didn't want the Meta Quests. I wanted something that I could use and not look like a weirdo. This is what I went with. Comment down below. Hopefully you think about snagging these as well. Links in the description. They don't cost you any additional money. I got a little kickback if you decide to use those bad boys. So I would appreciate if you did that. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and join the battalion. We would love to have you. If this is not your first time stopping by, thank you once again for stopping by, helping me make some coffee and watching me run my grape. For everyone else, we'll speak soon.